Okay, this is problem number eight from Dr. Long's review, lectures 19 and 20, and it's asking, many enzymes can hydrolyze GTP between the beta and gamma phosphates. The GTP analog beta-gamma amino guanosine 5' triphosphate cannot be hydrolyzed between the beta and gamma phosphates. So predict the effect of microinjection of this analog into a minocyte on the cell's response to the GPCR stimulation. So GPCR is, stands for G-protein coupled um, receptors and it's basically transmembrane receptors that are going to activate different signal transduction pathways when they're activated. So when G GPCR gets activated, it can activate a G protein by exchanging its uh, bound GDP for GTP. Okay, so when, uh, G when GDP is bound to the G protein, it's going to be off. When uh, the G protein binds uh, GTP, that's going to turn it on. So since, uh, since the analog they're talking about, GPP, NHP, cannot be hydrolyzed between the beta and gamma phosphates, so it can't be hydrolyzed, so it's going to constantly remain on because it, it, it cannot be hydrolyzed between the phosphates, so you're going to have a constant, constant stimulation in the cell of, what a, of that G protein.